We're hearing from a well-known attorney hired to represent Lisa Edwards' family. She is the woman kicked out of Fort Sanders Hospital after police arrested Edwards for trespassing. The medical examiner confirming that she suffered a stroke and died after being rushed back to Fort Sanders. Our John Pierceos is joining us now live from the newsroom. John, you spoke with that nationally known civil rights attorney who's handled, handled similar cases to this one. Yeah, that's right, Will. Devin Jacob represented the families of George Floyd, Hunter Britton, and Pamela Turner. All of them died in the hands of police. And Jacob says there are a lot of similarities in this Lisa Edwards case. It's a, a lack of humanity, a complete disregard for human life. Devin Jacob is the attorney representing Lisa Edwards' family. I'm not I'm not up, up. Jacob says what he saw on the KPD body camera video was horrific and says he was very surprised the district attorney did not press criminal charges. There's official oppression that's going on. There's a clear abuse of, of authority. There's a failure to, to render aid when there is a legal duty to do so. Knox County District Attorney Sharm Allen told WVLT News she did not press criminal charges because the medical examiner ruled Edwards died of natural causes, specifically from a stroke, and that the officers did not cause Edwards' death. Therefore, Allen says she can't charge KPD officers with murder. That's not dispositive of the issue when you look at the type of stroke and what causes that type of stroke. And uh, you know, high blood pressure and, uh, you know, stress and things of that nature will contribute to causing the situation. Jacob called the not pressing criminal charges ludicrous and a cop out. Jacob says he is working with medical experts to get a better idea of what happened to Edwards. Based on what we already know, it, it definitely appears that there were opportunities to intervene medically that would have uh, put a stop to or even prevented uh, what occurred here. Jacob says a lawsuit hasn't been filed yet, but it will likely be a civil rights case in federal court against the KPD officers and Covenant Health, the company that owns Fort Sanders Regional Medical Center. Now, Jacob says he's working to get Edwards medical records and related documents. Once that happens, he expects a lawsuit to be filed, but there's no timetable for when that might happen. All right, John, still few updates in the KPD internal investigation in the meantime. That's right, Will. Those officers are still on administrative leave as KPD is conducting an internal investigation. Now, Chief Noel did tell us earlier this week that he's hoping that will be done in the next month or so. And he also said the department is going to use this as an opportunity to improve policies and practices to prevent something similar from happening again. John Pierceos live in the newsroom for us this tonight. John